Wander with us for a campground review of Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Florida. Hey everybody, I'm Robin. And I'm Miko. And we're Wander, Wander Open, Open Roads. Roads. Hey, so thanks for joining us. We are sitting here chilling in our favorite recliner in our RV. and Our happy place. Yeah, absolutely. And we want to talk to you about... Jonathan Dickinson State Park in South Florida, and we're doing a campground review, yay. Yes, another campground review just for you. Just for you, that's right. So Jonathan Dickinson State Park is, in, as I said, it's in South Florida. It is uh, in between Port St. Lucie and West Palm Beach, uh, right on the Atlantic Ocean. Um, it is the largest state park in South Florida. Yeah, and uh, it has a lot to offer, so we're really excited to to uh, be here, and um, you know, let's let's talk about it. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you think? I like it. It's it's like Robin said. It has a lot to offer, which makes a huge difference um, when you're choosing a campground, and it really hasn't disappointed. So, I guess let's just talk about the campground itself. So, there are two separate campgrounds. Yes. Yes, the first one is, is Pine Grove, and it is uh, very close to the entrance. And now those are full hookup sites at, at uh, Pine Grove, all right? So, you know, you're talking full hookups, uh, water, sewer, e electric, and the sites in, in the area looks a little bit newer, maybe, right? Mm, I couldn't really tell if they were newer. They, they may be. Um, I know that it is bigger than the campground section that we're in. Um, there are two loops on that side. And honestly, when we drove through, it, it kind of seemed a little busier as well. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah. So we were actually staying in the in the river campground. We were in site 100. Um, the pro on that is that we are very close to the water, very close to the river. Yes. So for launching the kayak and all that stuff, it was like super simple. Just, you know, right down the road and... There it was. Uh, right. the, the only con is that these are not full hookup sites. These are just water and electric only. Um, but we have been using the bathhouse, and the, and the bathhouses are nice, and they are they are well maintained, and they look you know they look updated. Yeah, definitely. I mean the bathhouse is just you know really a short walk from our site. Um, they have a men's and women's. They also have a family. Um, yeah. Uh, what you call it? Uh, <laughs> stall as stall, well. Bathroom, shower, yeah, bathroom. Yeah, yeah. 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 so um, the bathrooms were nice, clean, big. Um, there were doors on the shower stalls, which, you know, I definitely appreciate. You know, having a curtain is okay, but a door, even better. Even better. Um, very spacious. Um, I mean, they looked well maintained. Yeah. Definitely. I will say that it was not yeah. run down or anything and of every, that I nature. Mean, really, the park as a whole, I feel, it is well maintained yeah yeah, yeah i would yeah. definitely say that definitely. um now as robin mentioned you know there are two campgrounds the first one is actually right near the entrance yes yeah, so yeah it's mm -hmm. like you come in and it's just like the first left but the riverside which is the campground that we're in is how many miles from the uh, entrance yeah it's about four miles <laughs> yeah yeah so you're you're just driving you're like okay are we lost or what's going on but yeah just you just drive all the way to the end, about about four miles down the road, you finally get to our our, our campground. Yeah, which is that just speaks to how yeah. huge this state park is, honestly. Right, right. But um, but yeah, so we're four miles from the entrance, um, which you know is definitely for trying to get to the en entrance. That's a car ride, not not <laughs> a bike ride. I mean, it could be a bike ride, but yeah. you know, four miles there yeah. and back. <laughs> it's. it's it's a ways. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is a, a, a huge park and um, ha has kind of an interesting history also. It was at one point uh, Camp Murphy back in the 1940s, and it was a like a top secret radi uh, radio um, transmission like training center for, for the U.S. military. And at one time there were over 10,000 buildings here and over 6,000 uh, government troops that that lived here, yeah. So it was like a huge facility. We actually saw a couple of buildings that looked like barracks and and um, a cup, you know, some foundations that you know looked like some, something was there before. So yeah, it's pretty interesting history. But yeah, this is a 
huge place. Um, yes. Uh, there is a um, a like a, a mountain biking center. So there were a lot of people that we could tell were just coming in for like a day day use of, 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 of the park. So apparently for mountain biking, it's like a really huge thing. And yes. there are miles and miles and miles of, of, of uh, trails. Now we don't have mountain bikes. We have kind of like road beach bikes. bikes. Yeah, beach bikes, road Cruisers. bikes or whatever. Right. So, but but they do actually have paved trails for those type of bikes. So. Yeah, and the paved trail is really nice. Um, you can pick up that paved trail from the Riverside Campground. So yes. that was another bonus for staying kind of way in the back. That is true. Um, so it's just right across from the, um, is it Activity Center? The visitor Center. The, yeah. visitor, mm -hmm. center, the visitor Center. Visitor um, Center which we actually stopped in the visitor center mm -hmm. um, before we hit the trail. So I guess we can talk about that while we're here at the visitor center. Yeah. So the visitor center, um, we stopped in, um, it had some nice sitting areas like right outside, mm -hmm. um, some chairs, rocket chairs. So you could just kind of chill out there, you know, enjoy yeah. the shade and the fresh air. But inside was actually really interesting. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, expecting um, all the kind of educational activities that they had on the inside. Mm -hmm. So you can learn a lot about the park itself and the nature, um, yeah. animals, you know, all of that that lives um, in this area. So they had a lot of information in that building. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And this is also a, a uh, big destination for bird watching, apparently. So that's not really my thing, but 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 it is something that is that that is that is popular here. So yeah, you know, if you're a bird so watcher, hey, yeah, might be the place for you. They have a nice big parking lot. They actually have um, RV yeah, um, parking, parking yeah, yeah, like yeah, at did. the um, visitor the center. visitor center yeah. as well. So you definitely want to stop in there. You know, there's a lot to see, a lot to learn about mm -hmm. this area. Um, so definitely check that out um, before you hit the trails or you know the rest of the park. Near the visitor center, they also had um, pavilions, yeah. uh, picnic tables, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. barbecue pits, and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Not to mention, they also they do kayak rentals here, um, kayak and canoe rentals, and they actually have a, a a boat that docks here, and you can take take a boat tour down the river from from this location. Uh, they actually had a little little building where you could buy the tickets for that. They also sold refreshments. They had like a little outdoor eating area where you could sit out there and eat lunch. They had snacks. They had different things. Yeah, so, and the playground is there as well. Yeah, yep, right near the playground. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, they had um, also a pier that you can kind of walk down. You can, you know, see people kayaking or the boats that were passing. I think they have about, I think I saw like three tour boats. Yes. That mm -hmm. were um, like at the dock, um, you know, which is cool. Um, you know, if you don't want to kayak, you still have, you know, a way to be able to, you know, take a trip down the river or up the river. <laughs> yes, the Loxahatchee River is the uh, name of the river. And um, so we actually took the kayak out and, and uh, you know, ex explored that some. And it, 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 but we, it's like a really windy river. It's kind of yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And I don't remember the name of the hiking trail that we took, but we'll have the name, yep, it'll you be know, a, on the, the screen. Yeah. And it was a nice um, walk. It was like a loop. Uh, well, yeah, the, the part that we went on was a loop, but you could have continued on about seven or eight miles if you wanted to. Yeah, so, there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, it wasn't like a shaded trail, but, yeah. um, you know, it had, you know, just different things. Um, some of it was um, kind of gravel. Some of it was sand. Um, I remember crossing over a little bridge. Um, there yeah. was also a like a deck where you could kind of sit and it was near um, the river. Right, right. Now, I will say this, you know, we are here in the in the springtime and the weather has been really good. Um, it's in the 70s. There's kind of a breeze. I mean, you're, you're you know, you're close to the ocean, which, you know, but I could definitely say that in the summertime, June or July, there is really no shade, so it could be super hot. You know? Yeah, I mean, there's lots yeah. of trees. They just don't really provide shade. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so with that, let's let's talk about kind of what's 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 near this 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 area. Uh, so we are about about ten minutes from a couple of different beaches. Um, uh, we are very close to the city of Jupiter. 
Uh, of course, there is Jupiter, Jupiter Lighthouse. Yes. Yes, that that is in Jupiter, and that's that's probably what fifteen minutes away. So definitely check that out if you're in the area. Like I said, there are a number of uh, of uh, beaches on Jupiter Island. So you know, you go out and have a beach day on the Atlantic. That's always a nice thing. And uh, we're we were about about 10 minutes away from the closest Publix grocery store and about 20 minutes from a Walmart. So just to, um, you know, give you an idea on that. Okay. Well, let's talk about the, uh, campground itself. So as I said, we are in uh, site number 100. Um, this is a, uh, water and electric site only. So it does not get points for sewer. Uh, although like, as we said, there are some, some, some sewer, sites at this park, just not in, in this particular campground um, by the river. Uh, there is There are trees, but there is no shade. So in terms of state park feel, you know, that's... Yeah, it's just state park feel, just no shade. Yeah, just no shade. Um, so... There's a pretty decent amount of space um, in between the sites, but there's no privacy between the sites. You just, you have enough space to kind of spread out but you know there is no you know division of trees kind of like in between the site giving you privacy right so what about our our uh, wi-fi coverage and all that type of stuff what what what'd you think about that um well there's no wi-fi um the cell service for me has been really good i've had 5g um service with so at t with right. at and t so and, i've had yeah. no problem we've been able to stream um, our entertainment on the television with no problems. Right. Now, I am Verizon, and I have two bars. I've been able to use my phone, but I have not been able to hotspot from it or do any type of streaming or anything like that. So my phone is limited with Verizon. Her phone with AT&T is pretty much... Yeah, I mean, yeah. but keep in mind, I mean, we are very close to civilization, you yeah. know, with Palm Beach fish being down the street, so... Yeah. We weren't sure if we were going to have good cell service, but I mean, you know, yeah, we are able to good. do the things that we need to do. Yeah, definitely. Um, the camp sites are level. They yep. are gravel. Um, mm -hmm. You have a decent picnic table. Um, there are no fire rings, but you do have a grill. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Um, there are mostly back end sites. There are a few kind of like circular um, pull through Pulled sites. Through, yeah. um, at least in this campground, there are two bathhouses um, in in the Riverside campground section as well, and they're kind of pretty close together. So I'm surprised that there's two, but not complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a short walk, and um, as we said, they're they're in good condition, so no complaints there. Yeah, and you know, with, you know, being, I guess, at this end of the park, we're very close to the river. Could you walk a kayak down? Yes. Yeah. Um, if you're able to drive it down, you know, either even better, it really wouldn't uh, matter which campground you were in. Um, we thought it would just be better to just drive down because there is parking, yes. because there is a boat dock. Um, and a pier, you know, at the entrance uh, for the river. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And as opposed to some campgrounds that we go to, there is it's Florida, so there's plenty of water in the river, no drought here. So <laughs> bring your boat, bring your kayak, bring everything you got. No, no problems there. <laughs> All right, so there are many things to do here in the park. We've already talked about the bike paths the river that you can kayak on, but yeah. there's also an observation tower. Yes, there is. Now you could bike to this observation tower or ride your car. We rode, um, cause it was a pretty good distance from the campground. Um, and they have a parking lot. You walk up a boardwalk or, you know, path, climb the stairs, and you have some pretty amazing views of the state park. It is, and that that hill is actually the tallest or the highest point in what in South Florida, which I guess in South Florida it really doesn't take that. Well, I'll say highest natural point, you know. <laughs> so it's not a landfill, right? <laughs> I mean, in South Florida, anytime you see a hill, it's basically like like a landfill. But this is not a landfill. It is naturally 
Yeah, because I, I think yeah. they actually call it a mountain. Yeah, yeah, which, no, but. It's a but, Florida mountain. A Florida mountain, <laughs> yeah. But you could actually, it had a nice view. You could you could see the kind of the entire park, and you can you can see the intercoastal waterway and the ocean, and the, you know, so yeah, it was, it was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, so definitely great views. It was a clear day, so you could see for miles and miles and miles. And miles. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, so all in all, let's talk about the rating. With our rating system, we give this park four stars, which is pretty high for a state park, actually. Yeah, I just think between the condition of the park and all of the activities, plus you still have good cell service. Hey, I that, mean, yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing. And and really, the only thing that that they that they did not get a star for uh, was not having full hookups. Which actually, if if we had gotten a site with full hookups, then it would have been four and a half stars. Right. right. And, and then and, just yeah. you know the things that you would find at like an RV park, like basketball courts and, and pools. pools and all that I stuff. mean, which yeah, you know, it's a state park. It's not right. going to have those things. Now they did have a beach area. Yeah, like a little swimming area part of the river. But with all of the gator signs, I don't know that I would go out and... Yeah, it, I mean, honestly, <laughs> it didn't look very inviting. Maybe if it was hot enough, maybe, yeah, potentially. Maybe. maybe. But no, nah, nah. no, it, it didn't look all that great. But I mean, everything else, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. So, so would uh, you come back? I would definitely come okay, back. I would definitely back. come back. This is, you know, if you're into riding your bicycles, and getting on the water and kayaking or hiking, hiking or mountain biking or yes. whatever. This is the place because there are miles and miles and miles of, tra of trails. It is huge. Yeah, so, I mean, you could yeah. do a different trail every day. Uh, I mean, you really could. <laughs> you really could. So, yeah, great place. We really enjoyed ourselves. Four stars and we would come back. So, hey. Yeah, and I mean, and the cost, you know, wasn't that oh, bad yeah. either. So, you know, it definitely got a, you know, a check for that. Yeah. So it fits within the budget. We have all the activities that we would like to do. It was nice and quiet, nice breezy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, good weather. Good yeah, weather. I mean, yeah. it's just a really good park. Not to mention, you know, you're not just kind of like out in the boonies. You're still down the street from, you know, stores and restaurants. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, seafood restaurant. Yeah, and yeah. being close yeah. to the beach. Hey. I mean, it just really has a lot of great things to offer. It's a great location. Um, you know, not that far from like Miami. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's probably about 45 minutes or so maybe from West Palm Beach and, you know, so yeah, I mean, you're you're fairly close to all that. So, yeah. All right. Great location and uh lots to do. So, Thanks for joining us for this campground review, and we will see you next time. Wander safely. Be sure to check out our camping apparel and accessories at shopredsquare.com. We also sell on Etsy and Amazon. The links will be in the description. Thank you.